Many, many years ago, when the people of Israel were a great nation ruled by King Saul, they fought a long and bitter war against their ancient enemies, the Philistines. In those days, soldiers used swords and spears and bows and arrows, and they wore heavy armor and carried shields to protect themselves in battle, so that only the biggest and strongest men were taken into the army. In this war, the Israelites and the Philistines were pretty evenly matched. They fought many hard battles, and each side lost many men, but neither side could completely conquer the other. Then one day, while the Philistines were camped on one side of the Great Valley and the Israelites on the other, there came out of the camp of the Philistines a champion of their cause, a huge giant, taller and stronger, and bigger than any man anyone had ever seen. He wore very heavy armor, and his face was fierce and cruel, so fierce and cruel that it would strike fear into the hearts of the bravest. This was Goliath, the giant of Gath. He strode to the center of the valley, faced the armies of Israel, and in a voice like thunder, he hurled this defiance at them. I am Goliath, the giant of Gath, and the Philistines have chosen me as their champion. You, soldiers of Israel, choose a man for you, and let him come down here and fight with me. If he kills me, we will be the servants of Israel. If I kill him, you will be slaves to the Philistines. I defy any man to accept my challenge. When the men of Israel saw Goliath and heard his defiant challenge, they were afraid, for they had no one to match his size and strength. Not one among them dared go down and do battle with the giants. Not, that is, until the shepherd boy David heard Goliath's challenge. Now David was just a boy. He knew nothing about swords and spears and fighting wars. But he was a thoughtful boy, too, and a good boy, because he believed in God and trusted in him. So, when he heard Goliath defying King Saul's army, he turned to his brothers and said, in defying the army of Israel, Goliath defies God. Is there no one here to go out and do battle against the enemy of the Lord? David's brothers were first surprised and then angry at him. Go back to your flocks and leave wars for fighting men. But David wouldn't be put off. I will do it, he said. Send word to King Saul. Tell him that I will go down into the valley and do battle with Goliath the giant. When the king saw how determined David was, he gave him his blessing and offered him his own royal armor and sword. But David wouldn't take them. He wasn't a soldier. Instead, he went to a nearby stream and selected five smooth stones. He put these in his shepherd's bag. He took his stick in his left hand, and in his right hand he held a slingshot. That's all. With both armies looking on, excited and expectant, David went down into the valley to meet Goliath. They met in the middle of the valley. David looking up at the giant, confident and unafraid, and Goliath looking down on the unarmed boy with eyes full of hatred. Suddenly, the giant Philistine roared in a terrible fury. I have defied all the armies of Israel to give me a man to fight, and they have sent a boy against me. What? Am I a dog that you come against me with a stick? David answered him calmly. I come against you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. Your sword and your spear and your shield will not save you, Goliath. For this day, you shall learn that the Lord fights on the side of right. Goliath let out an angry snarl. 
So be it. Defend yourself, boy. Goliath the giant rushed forward to make quick work of the boy champion of the Israelites. David stood his ground. He reached into his shepherd's bag, took out one stone. He fixed it in his slingshot and he let it fly. The giant was dead, and the simple shepherd boy, who trusted in God, had done what all of King Saul's army hadn't been able to do. David lifted his eyes to heaven, and he whispered a prayer. Mm.